When it comes to new and quality used trucks, look to Luther Family Ford. Tonight's weather brought to you by Tobolt Seed. Get your high premium non-GMO soybean contract for 2024. Tobolt Seed. Let's grow together. All right, looking at those foggy conditions out there right now. We're seeing them across much of the reason, and this is what you get. You get a lot of water there on the ground. You get a very low sun angle, very little mixing. Winds are very light, and oftentimes you'll see that fog really become a factor. That is what's happening out there right now. We take a look at our visibility. Grand Forks about half a mile. Fargo, a mile and a half, but I'll be honest with you, looking off some of our uh, sky cams are what we've got for you. Uh, it, some areas are definitely less than that within Fargo. Hellock, uh, half a mile as well. Thief River Falls back down to two miles. Bemidji, half a mile. Again, you get the idea here. We are not seeing good visibility conditions out there at all. Be careful of that when you are traveling tonight into tomorrow morning. It will remain thick out there. We've got 35 degrees in Fargo. Currently feels like 29 when you factor in that north wind at eight miles per hour for Grand Forks. We're looking at a temperature of 31 degrees right now. It feels like 23 again. A light wind out of the north at eight miles per hour. Here's what we've got for you with our temperatures. They're not going to move a lot tonight, but part of them because we just have so little movement of air. And again, uh, we've got that fog in place. 32 Bemidji, 31 Grand Forks. And again, the kind of concern here with the fog, not just the visibility, but again, with so much moisture out there, even some slushy areas still on the roads, just refreezing overnight. So it's going to be slick and slippery in many spots. Keep that in mind. Satellite radar, one piece of good news. All that moisture, all that rain, that snow, that sleet, we had uh, freezing rain for about four days. That's out of here. So let's talk about this snow event that we just saw. This event, I should say, it was not a snow event. We had a little snow. This is typically what we would see in the winter time, late December. Air at all levels below freezing, upper level, mid level, low levels. That is not what happened this time around. This was a big freezing rain event. Now, some areas just saw mainly rain. That's when the mid and low levels are above freezing. So again, that snow falls into that warmer sector of air, and then you've got that rain. In this case, one of the things we saw, which was our biggest concern, especially as long as it lasted, is you get that area where you get the snow turning into rain, but then you've got an area below near the surface that is freezing. So we're now back down to having that rain hit the surface, freezing on contact on surfaces. And again, it lasted for so long, this overall weather event. That's why we had so much icing out there. So we're talking about river flood warnings right now. Red River near Fargo, also north of Wapaton, and then we also have uh, Wild Rice River at Abercrombie. Red River Fargo expected to crest minor flood stage 21 feet on Sunday for Wapton tomorrow at about 11 feet and the Wild Rice River near Abercrombie expected to crest on Friday at about 20 feet. All of those would be minor flood stage. Here's what we've got. First alert forecast. Good news. No more precipitation headed our way, but that fog is going to be there for a good portion of the day tomorrow before it finally breaks free and we'll get some sunshine in most areas by tomorrow afternoon. Good news, I think by Friday. We get more of that sunshine throughout the day. Highs tomorrow, we've got upper 20s to mid 30s. That includes 29 Grand Forks, 35 in Fargo. Friday, a mostly sunny to sunny day with a high of 36. Weekend, big weekend. New Year's Eve, Sunday, 25, 23 for highs with lows in the teens by Sunday morning. New Year's Day, 28, 14. Those numbers are pretty close to the norm for this time of year. Then we continue with dry weather. And Justin, I think the big thing here is getting this nice break after such a big system, one that's icy, one that's wet, one that's causing so many issues of yeah. flooding. That'll give us a time to kind of get a break from it, settle things down, going right into early January. Everybody who's out for New Year's Eve to less travel trouble than we saw for Christmas. Absolutely, yes. Right. Thanks, yeah. Russ. Still ahead, several area cities want to help you clean your yard up after that recent ice storm. We'll show you how next.